Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brad with Spike Fitness, and I want to talk about something kind of cool. So, recently, the 2019 Kern US Open just took place, actually, this past weekend. And um, there's some stuff that I, that I think is kind of valuable to talk about, and so we're going to talk about squat depth and what I think about squat depth in terms of competition and what we saw during the current open. So let's take a look at a few examples here. Now, as you can see, most of those squats look pretty good. Um, you know, they were fine examples of a squat, except for the fact that they were all red lighted for depth. So, uh, squatting to depth was a recurrent issue in the in the current U.S. Open. And for an event where there's that much money in the line, I could definitely understand people trying to, you know, ride that bleeding edge of is it good or is it not. You know, they don't want to move weight any further than they have to. And to some extent, I understand that. However, I believe that in, in, in the case of competition, anytime that you're leaving a squat up to a decision for a judge, you're failing. And uh, I want to go into a little bit more about why. All right, so for an event like the Kern Open, or I'm sorry, the Kern US Open, you know, it's, it's an event that is not very common. Uh, throughout powerlifting in that there's a lot of money on the line and that's a great thing I, I, I'm really excited about the the current US Open I feel like it represents a lot of growth and a lot of potential within powerlifting and so just on the fact that they're offering a larger purse for powerlifters is amazing so with that people want to you know be kind of on that bleeding edge that you know they're they're gonna be you know stretching every fiber of, uh, of strength that they have to try to put together the best total they could possibly put together. And so in some instances, you know, we have people that are throwing together squats and they're, they're just trying to, you know, barely get below that parallel and come up, you know, for the squat, not trying to waste any, um, any extra energy on an individual squat. However, um, you know, you can see by the, some of the examples that we looked at, you know, these, these individuals, they were moving however much weight uh, on any given squat and coming up with a no rep because they didn't sync the squat to standard. And so again, I've talked about this before, but again, anytime that you're in a competition, however, or whatever the level of competition is, whether it is your local, you know, USPA or whatever, your local meet, just a, just a casual local meet, or we're talking like best of the best, creme de la creme, highest level, most elite athletes coming together at one place, one time, to compete, I genuinely believe that if you are squatting to a standard where you are allowing the judge to make a decision, you're failing, right? Because the judge shouldn't be there to make the decision. The judge should just be there to bear witness, right? All I need you to do is witness. 
I don't need you to make a decision. The decision is already made because I'm gonna fucking bury that. And, and these individuals who squatted high, now again, please understand that this is not a condemnation of these individual lifters. I'm not trying to call anybody out or be inflammatory. Uh, that's why I'm not talking about any one person you know, by name. I'm just saying that these people, they tried to toe the line and they lost. Um, and by doing so, they've, they've now moved whatever that was, you know, in excess of 700 pounds or whatever, needlessly, right? The lift didn't count. So they, they're in a position where they have to either repeat the lift or, you know, charge boldly on and, and, and go for a, whatever their next attempt was. Um, it, it just leaves the lifter in a very bad position. And, and I can definitely understand people wanting to be aggressive and wanting to uh, kind of push the edge, so to speak, especially on, on a meet, you know, where so much money is on the line. But again, when, when they're doing this, you can see how, how bad a position that they're putting themselves in by not completing these lifts. So uh, especially for your you, you newer, younger lifters that are out there, um, and that doesn't necessarily mean younger specifically, but anyone that's new to powerlifting, right? So whether you are 50 doing your first meet or you're 17 doing your first meet, you know, the best advice that I can give you is, you know, work within the confines of your own strength, right? So compete against yourself, do the best you can and try to move your, your total up every single time that you compete. Um, be aggressive, but don't be so aggressive that, you know, you're leaving yourself no margin of error. And like I said, these individuals were, were pushing so hard and trying to lean so far forward and cut it so close that they left themselves in bad positions and, um, and doing what they did did not help them in any way, shape or form during the, uh, this competition. So I just kind of want to highlight that um, as a methodology or as an approach for competition. For anyone that may be out there curious about leaning forward and competing themselves and how they're going to you know, do their own attempt selection, um, you know, my best recommendation is open up with a weight you know you can get by any shadow of, of a doubt. Like there is, there's no doubt whatsoever that you can get that opening lift um, and the hammer. And then every other subsequent, sp specifically for here, squat. Ensure that you're burying those squats. You're not giving the, the judge an opportunity to vote. You're, they're just bearing witness. Um, and I think that if you continue to do that, uh, it'll yield success for you throughout your career um, and save you from heartache for missing lifts that you know you could get if you'd have just taken the, the, the time and the energy to sink it just a little bit lower. Um, yeah, I never never, never spoke to anybody before that uh, regretted sinking a squat. Um, but I have talked to a lot of folks who regretted not giving a squat just a little bit more depth. So for any of you that are out there, Consider going a little bit deeper. Don't try to, to be on that, that bleeding edge. Seek your squats. That's it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave in the chat box below. Again, please understand that I'm not trying to be inflammatory or call any out or any lifter out specifically. This isn't about calling anyone out. I understand uh, what people's desires were and the you know what they were trying to accomplish by by cutting it close. I'm just saying for the for the average lifter, for for most lifters. This is not a uh, sustainable model, and this is not a model that will yield much success uh, on the grand scheme. I think it's far better to ensure that you, uh, you know, commit the little bit extra resource of time and energy, bury your squats, and that way you don't have to double dip and repeat a squat that you've already completed, uh, but just hit a little bit too shallow. Anyway, food for thought. Leave your comments and, and your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. Are you guys a fan of cutting it close and, and, and going on that bleeding edge of is it good? Or are you a fan of leaving no question in the judges' minds as I am? Because that's definitely where I stand. Yeah. Questions, comments, or concerns, leave in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Definitely help me out with like, shares, and subscribes. If you've watched two or three videos, it's probably time to sub up. That was a sub. It just happened. And you should do it too. Yeah. That's it, guys. Remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like sink some deep ass squats during competition, get in, train despite. You're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. I appreciate you guys checking this out. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Save those clients.